Fresh DV's coverage of Cinegear is brought to you by Next Wave DV and Cinevate, tools for filmmakers and photographers. ICANN, features you need, prices you want. Kessler, innovative tools for filmmakers. Della Luce, your life, your style. Guys, we're here at uh, KinoFlow. I'm talking to Tom. Tom, you guys have recently come out with some new lighting fixtures. Why don't you give us a uh, update on what you guys are showing at the Cinegear show? Yes, you're right. Not only have we uh, come out with a new array of several instruments, we also have updated other instruments. So we're we're very busy. Uh, one of the uh, really great uh, new designs of our Barfly, which a lot of people know, is uh, it now has an integrated ballast. Prior to this, most people know our our studio stuff, our studio equipment has. Uh, fixture, cable, ballast, component driven. Pretty this standard. is all integrated. It's universal so you can use it anywhere in the world. It's power factor correct. This will use half the, the power. only uses about two and a half amps versus like four or five before. Um, and um, because the ballast is all built in, you've got just one cable, plug it in. And the newest feature of the Barfly is it's now also dimmable. So we also still, you know, recommend select unit, uh, you know, uh, switching so that you don't have a color shift. Sure. But uh, now it's all in one nice sweet package. We have the Barfly 400D for dimming and the Barfly 200D. And these are these are fluorescent fixtures like standard Kino. They are. Yeah, it's a quad tube. This is going to get real bright. So maybe I'll show you this one. Uh, and uh, so you can see it's quad tube like so. Sorry for the noise. Uh, so this is all one tube. And um, so it's, it's a unique lamp that's designed just for us, for this fixture. And in fact, if you saw the movie Unstoppable, uh, they shot the whole thing with barflies. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's a really great movie to see uh, barflies in action. So putting the ballast on the fixture, what has that done for weight for the fixture? Uh, it has made it um, a little bit heavier on the fixture side, but it not as heavy as the, the uh, head, the cable, the ballast, all that complete was actually heavier as, as a complete system. Uh, and the idea here is that you've got something that's smaller, portable, much better for uh, field, you know, uh, production, uh, ENG. We kind of want to flush out our ENG stuff. You know, the Diva is like the number one ENG light in the world, right? No, everyone, you know, they don't even call it Kino. It's, it's a Diva now. So we thought, what can we offer those shooters? And so now the Barfly having just a plug-in and everything integrated, they don't have all the cables and all that to deal with. And uh, in a minute, I'll show you another instrument, that our four-bank Tegra which has gone that way as well to also expand on the uh, ENG or field shooter. Now, is the Barfly available right now? They are, yes they are, 400D what's, and the 200D. What's the price point? Uh, this was about $1,395 and I believe this was $995. They're actually about the same price as the previous one and with all the extra features thrown in, it's a real bargain. Let's check out the, uh, the celeb over here. Okay. This instrument is uh, really turning heads. In fact, it's up, already won many awards uh, because we decided uh, to make our own LED. This is our first real serious you know, jump into the LED world. Uh, we're very much fanatics about technology and being on the cutting edge. And Frieder Hoheim, our founder and, and president, said, I, wanna I think I've got an idea. Uh, so what we did is we rethought the LED. You know, most LEDs are hard light. Just like any other hard light, and in the past you have to put a soft box and you know change it into a soft light that you can light the talent with. Well, most of our stuff is designed to start from square one. So in this, in the same vein, this is the what the front of our LED looks like: one soft, even platen, no hot spots. Okay, and we, we tripled the amount of LEDs and used low wattage LEDs, so we'd have greater efficiency with less heat. Therefore, there's no heat sink on it. So as everything else we make, it's you know low power. Uh, you know, low heat and uh, great color correction. You know, uh, perfect color uh, from 27 to 5500 is the Kelvin range on this one. Wow. It's a great match to the instruments we have. And, I'm, and you can just dim or change the color on the fly? Yeah, I'm going to show you on the front here real quick, just very briefly. I'm going to have to reset this to give me just a couple seconds. Uh, it's also power factor corrected, so it only pulls less than an amp. Uh, and it's also universal, so you can shoot anywhere in the world with it, which is kind of a nice uh, feature. So here's, here's some color sh shots for you real quick. 27, 32, 4K, 5K, 55K. Those are preset into the unit. On this side, you'll see now how elegantly laid out this is. Here's those buttons I was changing, 27, 32, 4K, 5K, 55K. Gets better, okay? I can switch from Kelvin to dim. Okay, I can change my dimming. I can do a full 
very quick sweep through the dim, or I can toggle that button and do the dimming, okay? Uh, it, it, I do the dimming, excuse me, in, in a more incremented version. So I can really dim it and, you know, really balance it into the light that I want. Now, on the Kelvin side, we have those same features. So you have your 2700, but I need it a little bit higher than that. Oh, nice. Okay, so I dial it in where I want, and all of these five presets are now uh, programmable. So I hold them for five seconds, and now that color temperature is locked into that particular you know, uh, button or, or selector. And then each one of these are programmable. So I can get up here, maybe I'm a little cooler than 32, you know, if you're using your color meter. So what this does, it can match any instrument on set instantly. And most of the cameramen want it right there by their hands. They're going, they, they're just freaking out how easy it is and they can dial it in and bring it on right to the talent and just, just perfectly match whatever skin tone they're working with. It's just amazing. So That's pretty uh, slick. It is, it is. Um, it's uh, DMXable um, and uh, that should be out in about, uh, you know, another month or two. Uh, there's, there's a field version right now, but ultimately we're going to DMX for control. And then it's also 24 volts DC. So you've got AC and DC operation. Uh, so uh, um, all these controls are available via DMX as well. Uh, yes, you can mix the color and everything. Yeah, you'll have a uh, two channel. One will be Kelvin and one will be for dim. And there'll be a a, uh, a protocol giving you you know either uh, a just a full sweep on your on your fader or actually where your increments. Also, like on some of the more advanced boards like a whole hog you will be able to actually program 27, 32, or whatever your color temps are, and you'll be able to just pick those up very quickly. So that's all being written now. Once that's done, we'll load it up. You'll be able to uh, hopefully update the electronics through an Ethernet port. So you, in case we have you know uh, any upgrades on the electronics, and you can update that from the from your website, from our website. And is the celeb available now? What's the price point? It is available now. It's three thousand ninety-five dollars. Um, and uh, that's for the unit. It comes with the 90 degree louver. I should show you that new new plastic louver, which is less expensive, <laughs> but uh, actually uh, very very durable and very easily sets into the to the fixture. And they're on the top too, so they're very easy if you've got it over your head to put these in and out. There's a 60 degree louver. It's also available for it for control. And uh, we, and this is just a grid to, to contain the light the light yeah, spread. All louvers are, you know, it's just the opposite of hard light You're using cutters and, and things like that. Where here we need to control and and cutters and that don't affect fluorescent. Fluorescent spills and it bends, you know, uh, that's the uniqueness of it. So louvers have actually we found recommended over the barn doors. Uh, you know, some TV studios. You, you know, are adamant about having a barn door, make their own scoop. That's just what they like to do. But once they see these, they go, oh, geez, this is, you know, controls better than, than these scoops I spent three days building, you know. <laughs> so uh, it's an inexpensive and very effective way, and all of our light sources have them. So uh, this is something you'll see as we do a consistent look through all the Kinoflow products. And I forgot to ask you, what is the effective output in watts uh, for, for this Great light? Great question. I would say it's roughly like a 750 soft light, okay? Um, it is a um, an output where if you took say two uh, you know one by one size LEDs no matter what the brand and uh, diffuse them and color correct them and go through all those things because you cannot put it in someone's face uh, this is actually brighter than two of those so we've done the tests and and uh, you know you're getting uh, like 45 foot candles in six feet so I mean it's not bad not bad awesome let's check on uh, the the Tegra all right. So this is the new Tegra 4 bank, uh, newly designed for field shooters, ENG, that have, again, wanted to expand on the Diva light and been asking for this. Uh, we showed it at NAB, and now we're showing it here. They are now out. Uh, but there's a lot of changes to this. Number one, we have the honeycomb louver. Before, we had a, a, a plastic louver, which had larger squares. Didn't do a lot for control. So now we have the same 90 and 60 degree louver that we were seeing on the, our other instruments, the Celeb and the, you know, uh, the Divas, the Four Banks, everything's going that way. It's just a better control source for us. So uh, it's exactly like a regular Four Bank in the front. Just briefly show you the standard, you know, high output, 75 watt per lamp, but it's power factor corrected. So this, believe it or not, pulls two and a half amps, okay? It gets better. The new design here on the hinges has uh, flexibility for about, you know, straight out. Most of the people are using them in the field don't need them for uh, the kind of flexibility to do in the studio. So here's your, your switching is over here. You got four lamp switches and it's also dimmable now, which we never had before. 
It's also universal, so you can use it anywhere in the world as well. So let's look at that from the front real quick. So you're, you're doing that. That's across the line now. It seems like you're integrating the ballots and that sort of thing. Um, you know, it's become uh, somewhat of a uh, broadening of our, the spectrum of our, our instru instruments. We still have the same ballast cable mount and fixture for for doing big features and, and large digital productions. Uh, you know, I did, didn't use the word film, did I? Um, but uh, anyway, any medium you're shooting, you know, uh, but, and they prefer that because the heads are lighter, they can mount those, and all the ballast gets put together. There's DMX ballast now. Um, and those all get, you know, daisy chain. This is not DMX, uh, it, it's soon to be DMXable, but we find mostly it's gonna be a run and gun kind of light. Yep. Again, so now we have our we have our Diva light, which is sort of our, you know, uh, standardized ENG or, or field production light. Now we've got the bar fly, which is a little bit smaller, a little more punch to it, and now we have the four bank. So we, we've sort of sussed out the field production for those guys. What is the, uh, the effective output of this light and uh, price point? Uh, this is 1595 uh, with all the new upgrades, as you saw, and it is uh, exactly the same output as a four foot four bank. So it's uh, it's 300 watts of soft light, which is the equivalent of uh, let's just say fluorescent light, equivalent to about a 1k soft light. Usually, we try to you know if we say a 1k or a 1.2k, that's either bounced or with a you know soft box on it. You know, but uh, you know you're talking two amps, two and a half amps. A bar flies a couple of amps. The celebs one amp. I mean, you can shoot anywhere with this stuff. Yeah, no, I agree. It's a good. It's a good kit for a run and gun shooter for sure. Very cool, Tom. I appreciate this. Where can people find more information about KinoFlow? Obviously, uh, we have a fantastic website, uh, www.kinoflow.com. Uh, you can ask for Tom Jacob if you're in the western U.S. and Canada. We have several other sales staff that handle the Midwest and Middle America and East, uh, East Coast uh, and all around the world as well. Stay tuned for more coverage of Cinegear 2012.